Do you know that for a good number of people, emotional intelligence is extremely important when it comes to being successful in life? Join me in this video to find out more. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Gerald Dinobara, currently a GP trainee in the UK. And if you're new to my channel, I welcome you to my channel and I talk about wellness, productivity and growth. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you five top benefits of emotional intelligence and why it's really important when it comes to you being successful in every aspect of your life. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and also hit the notification button so that you can be notified anytime I post new videos. So why is emotional intelligence important and why should you develop it in order to have a high emotional quotient? So this is because having a high intellectual ability aka IQ does not guarantee success if you're not emotionally equipped to navigate through the social complexities of life. And that is why it is important that you find ways to focus and develop it if you want to be more successful in the things that you do. So if emotional intelligence is new to you, I will explain a lot further. So emotional intelligence is basically a measure of how you are able to acknowledge and handle your emotions and the emotions of people around you. So emotional intelligence is different from intelligence quotient, where intelligence quotient is a measure of your reasoning ability and how you can use the information provided to you to make rational decisions. There is no relationship per se between IQ and emotional quotient, which is EQ, in determining how successful you are going to be in life. And what I mean is that the fact that you have a high IQ does not necessarily mean that you're going to have a high emotional intelligence. So Daniel Goldman is a psychologist who threw a lot of light on emotional intelligence and noted that there are five components of emotional intelligence which are self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy and social skills. When you are able to handle these five components effectively, it invariably increases your emotional intelligence. So let me talk a bit about these five concepts in a bit of a detail. So how can you use it to develop your emotional intelligence? Number one, self-awareness. This is where you have to reflect understand and embrace your feelings you also have to reflect on how your feelings influence other people around you for example are you that kind of person that easily transfers aggression to others when he or she is angry over something are you that kind of person that shuts people off when they are going through a difficult moment then in self-awareness ask yourself how transferring this aggression or alienating others affects the person beside me. If you're able to be more aware of this, then your emotional quotient will become higher and you can adjust your behavior a lot more in order to help you cope better in your environment. Number two, self-regulation. So this is more or less self-control. People who have higher emotional intelligence have a high level of self-control where they are more thoughtful and conscious of how the emotion they display towards others can affect people around them. They are in control of their negative emotions such as pride, selfish intent, loss, and they recognize that controlling these emotions adequately in any environment they find themselves in is very important important in their success. Number three, motivation. People that have a high emotional intelligence stay motivated. They are focused, mentally disciplined, goal-oriented, and they stick to their plans to achieve what they want. They look at the bigger picture and they focus on ways to keep going till they achieve what they want. So motivation is an important aspect of emotional intelligence. So number four, empathy. So empathy is your ability to understand and feel what the other person is feeling. This is completely different from sympathy which is where you only show an understanding of what the other person is feeling in other words when you are empathic you put yourself in another person's shoes and you tend to experience what the other person is passing through 
Now, when you are empathic, you are able to figure out in better detail the needs of people around you. You have better communication and listening skills. You are able to adjust your behavior to match the other person in order to connect with them at a level that will be beneficial to them. Number five, social skills. In the context of emotional intelligence, social skills are those skills that you require to be able to manage an impact on other people's emotions. Such skills include, for example, having a good communication skill or good leadership skill or management skill. So in each of these skills, you show a high level of understanding empathy, self-control, and influence over others. So now that we have broken down the components of emotional intelligence, we can now understand why developing and having a high emotional intelligence is important to be successful. So this brings us to the five top benefits of emotional intelligence. Number one, it helps you work better in a team. So when you have a high emotional intelligence, you tend to understand people around you better because you have great listening and communication skills. You are also more assertive and you are more open. You also have a good set of social skills like we talked about and you're able to build rapport easily so being a good team player can make you more adjusted in your workplace and can make you more successful at what you do number two leadership role so having a high emotional intelligence can make you land leadership roles in your workplace this is because not only you know, do you have good communication and people management skills? You are able to understand your own emotions and control them in a way to boost and encourage a positive and productive work environment. So number three, dynamic. So when you have a high emotional intelligence, you are able to adapt more easily to the ever-changing environment. You are able to anticipate and manage stress a lot better than those who have a low emotional intelligence as you are more aware of emotions and you are able to control it in such a way that your productivity is not affected. Therefore, being dynamic increases your resilience, which increases your chances of being more successful at what you do. Number four, productivity. So being emotionally intelligent increases your productivity and the productivity of people around you. People that are emotionally intelligent understand how their emotions affect their relationship with other people they tend to channel positive emotions towards others and they also acknowledge other people's emotion acknowledging other people's emotional state as a leader can help you understand which skills your team member excels in and you can encourage that skill to increase productivity number five helps to build and nurture relationships. So emotionally intelligent people are good at building relationships as a team because they have mastered the five components of emotional intelligence. They are more in control of their emotions and they do not take things personally. They also have good communication skills, which means they can freely communicate their thoughts to you in a non-judgmental way so that the other person can appreciate where they are coming from. They also know how to manage and prevent conflict. So with the above, you can understand that the key to being successful in your career or in your chosen path does not only depend on your intellectual ability, which is your IQ, but largely depends on how emotionally intelligent you are, as that is what you actually need to put your plans into actions. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Do drop me a comment down below and also click the like and the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell where you'll be notified anytime I upload new videos. See you in my next video. Thank you.